Hi everyone, I'm here for another interview at Pango Techno Valley, this time with the innovation lead of Miroroid, Vixen. Vixen, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jay. I've had an interview with Miroroid before, but as we talked about a little earlier, you have some updates and perhaps some new products, and your main brand being MirrorArt. Tell me a little bit about your company. Yes. My, our company's main brand is called MirrorArt. Okay. And MirrorArt has three sub brands. Yes, reference. And we call it Mirror Terror, okay. Hair, Mirror Beauty, and Mirror Studio. Okay. And each department has their own product and services. Very cool. So, what you have three sub brands under Mirror What type of is it? Is it AI? Is it X? Is it AR? What type of service is it? Our tech, our products and services all includes AI services. Okay. And we use those AI technology and make our product better and services look cooler. Very cool. So you're using these uh, for hair and to visualization, for example? Yes. What, what, what can I tell the general public about? What does your product do? What is the actual solution it, it provides? Our solution provides people when people want to look better or okay. find, want to find their own styles, and we can do some advice uh -huh. or some recommendations ah. from AI. So you advise through beauty, you advise for beauty solutions or uh, different like complexions or hairstyles perhaps through your technology, right? And you can advise and recommend different products perhaps? How does it, how does it work? Our product includes AI recommendation okay. and hair simulations. And that product, that particular product called Smart Meter. I remember this. So I, when I interviewed about smart mirror before, it was a mirror, a smart mirror on a wall or a yes, surface, for example. And if my hair color is natural right now, if I wanted to try a new style or tried like blonde or something, I could try it through your service before going to the hair, hair shop salons. and actually hair salon and dyeing yes. my hair, right? Yes, that's correct. And we also provide our smart mirror to hair salons. So if you go to hair salons that using our smart mirror, you can just go ahead and try some new hairstyles and new coloring. And at we, the salon yes. itself. Yes. So, ah, right. so also, so that's why we have two type of customer and clients. Clients are mainly hair salon owners and designers. Okay. And customers are who wants to change their styles. So it's a it's a B two B product and a B two C product. Yes, that's that's correct. So the last time I interviewed, I, rem I remember, and I, I think I saw a demonstration of it being used before. It, it looks really cool. I just I kind of want to sit at home and just try it myself yes. and see what like the, the new coolest hairstyle I could have. But you said also at beauty salons you can go in and you can see the new hairstyle before you mm -hmm. actually or new hair color before you actually get it done. Have there been any new updates to your products? Yes, we did a few updates, and there. They are really huge updates for our smart mirror. Okay. And one of the updates includes hair dyeing, and there we add highlight option and ah. two tone option. Okay. So if you want to color your this side of the hair, you red, this side to blue, you can just adjust with single touch. So before it was, as I remember, it was like one color, right? One color option. And now you said you can do just highlights in your hair and, and two colors, mm -hmm. red or blue, for mm -hmm. example, D different hairstyles as well. Yes. Okay. What makes your product different? Actually, this is the first time I've ever heard of smart mirrors being yes. used in hair That's salons. That's why we're top of the industry. Industry right now. Or do you have competitors in the industry? There, and if you do, yes. how is your product different? There was a competitors before, mm -hmm. but we now we are leading the technology. So there is no other company that providing hair dye using two tons highlighting. And also we do AI recommendation for their own styles, fully personalized service. So that's, there's no competitors. So it's, it's like, a, it, it, it's, it's a multi part here. I can choose. I want to know what I look like with blonde here and black here, for example, or yes. red and blue. Yes but your service also provides AI recommendation based off your facial features or such, your complexion yes. of styles that would go with uh, your overall look and your uh, facial structure, for example. Yes. This is amazing. How do I get a hold of your product? If I want to buy your product right now, how would I buy it? We are having one more investment from big company. Okay. We call, the company name was Only Be Young. Mm -hmm. And they invested to our company to make for personalized service for someone who visit Only Be Young. 
Like if you want to get a recommendation for buying some products for your hair or beauty, you can get a recommendation from the product. And also we are getting investment from Hoban and okay. that construct needs constru constructor company and uh -huh. they're investing to our company and they are making apartment for customers, right? But oh, they I want see. to put our smart meter on their apartments for every each room. Very cool. So if you want to use our product personally mm -hmm. on the future, you can Live in that apartment. Live in the apartment <laughs> that we just. But invest. that's such a cool advertising strategy, and of course, with the, so much new technology coming into the world, I can see why Olive Young, the biggest beauty brand in Korea, would want this in their stores or for their customers. But thinking of it from another point of view, from the apartment, from apartment construction company, I've never thought about this. There's always new. I mean, I've been to showrooms here for apartments. There's always the new like technology or new styles or colors and materials in apartments. But this time, they're going to use your smart mirror product already available in the apartment itself when you move in. Very cool. Mm. We are now on development. Okay. It's gonna took few years. Sure. But after that, we are pretty sure that we can provide fully personalized AI recommendation service and really high quality simulation for your hairstyle and skin tones and your outfits. Everything. Outfits as well? Yes, we're trying to make. So if I want to know, like today I wore, this is my favorite suit, my, my gray uh, blue pinstripe yes. suit is my favorite, yes. but later on I could try black yes. or brown. Or I always, sometimes I regret, usually I buy suits and I'm very happy, but then sometimes I buy a suit and I, I regret it. Oh, this color doesn't look good with my skin tone or this fit doesn't match. So for this service, you're developing in that mm -hmm. way as well. Talk about target market. You talked before about B2B, B2C, personalized for home and also in beauty salons. Are there other target markets you're looking into? We are also trying to find customers in B2G. Okay. So on the B2G part, school, uh, school and college. Oh, schools and colleges. For, you know, the beauty college and beauty school stu schools want to use our product as a Sure. Of the, you know, learning, learning Absolutely. things. Absolutely. Turn, so doing, education yes. and yes. like education. almost like hands on yes. without having to get all the dyes and cutting hair and yes. everything. So for training purposes, there's so much thinking about that too. There's so much technology going into like digital twins and training in factories and stuff, but this can be used for training future hairstylists uh, and designers through beauty schools and such. So yes. B2G is now your new target market. Yes. And it's really expanding fast because last year, Sour picked our smart meter as a education method, education product. Very cool. Congratulations. That's yes. something that last yeah, time I interviewed you, that wasn't a, even part of our interview deal. last. That's a huge that deal. A deal. That's a big deal. What markets are you trying to enter? I mean, Seoul is now in Korean general, is the beauty capital of the world, right? There's so much going on here with skincare or technology. It has to do with appearance and such. Are you looking into other markets as well? Or do you want to launch first these new products domestically? Do you want to go globally right away? What are your big global, what's your big global vision? On global part, we are expand, we are expecting that we're gonna provide smart mirror or our services to all around the world. Okay. But we are staying, we are just make, like last year we were just staying Korea mm -hmm. and making our products better. Sure. But one of our hair salon use our smart meter as a advertisement. Okay. And it goes wild. Ah, it went viral. Yes. And from his, they, he, she used Instagram mm -hmm. and use our smart meter mm -hmm. and changing customers' hair Mm -hmm. color hairstyles and it goes wild and people were, people probably yes, thought it was yes, fake at first yes yeah right? they, yeah probably <laughs> they probably yeah. thought it they wasn't real that was wasn't real but it shows the really good quality of the health simulation and after that day we get a really lot of calls from around the, the world. world and mm. some of them wants to buy our product as a sample so you know, we're we already sold our sample to Dubai, Singapore, wow, and other Canada, okay, North America, uh -huh. and Cambodia, Indonesia, and some other countries as well. So that means that 
we can there's a, there's a huge market for smart beauty oh, for industry. sure globally as well. How many times have you gone to a hair salon and you think you a hairstyle will fit you and you get a haircut and you're like, oh, I messed up. Or you have like a job interview or something like that and you need the perfect hairstyle or you want the right clothes for something and it just doesn't turn out that way. So this is a great way that AI technology and smart devices can be used in our everyday lives, right? In order to get Miroid started and to start the Mirror Art brand, what did you guys do? Was it personal investment? Was it government funding? Was it seed money? How did you get your company started? Our company started with personal investment, but after just one year, there was government Funding. organization mm -hmm. and they do business for someone doing beauty songs. Okay. And we we show our product to the government and they said oh they can be one of the smart option health salon owners can choose. Wonderful. So after that we show our product and a lot of the hair salon owners wants our product and we get a really huge chance to provide our product. And that was the really big investment and that was our start, start point of our company. Great, you just talked about investment opportunity here and I know uh, we're here in Pango Techno Valley where there's so much investment opportunity, there's so many great minds, like-minded people trying to get their startups off the ground, start new businesses, go global. What is the biggest uh, advantage to you or why do you like working here at Pango Techno Valley? Pango Techno Valley has a really a lot of opportunity. That means we, what we only need to do is grabbing it. Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's really big option for us. So the networking, right. You're saying just like the idea of just getting in here, all you have to do is get in here and then there's so much opportunity once you're inside of people to meet. Uh, how do you get your product abroad quickly? Who do you need to network with? Uh, legal advice well, and people say it's close to Seoul too. So it's just about getting in here at first, right? Yes, and, then, right. and then there's so many opportunities that follow. Yeah. This has been a great interview. It's my second interview with Miroid, and now you have updates. You're looking to develop your technology uh, for clothes as well, working with big brands like Olive Young, and then having your products hopefully go into apartments like turnkey apartments soon as well. B2C market, B2B market, and entering the B2G market with education. Vixen, is there anything else you'd like to add to our interview today? No, it's good for today. Good for today? You got all the information? Yes, we are. So your product is Mirror Art. Art. You're going more global. You have more updates and people can check them out. Last question, when are these updates do you think going to be ready? Are you looking we, to launch this year? We are, exp we, I want to run, launch our updates in this year. This or year. tomorrow, right away. There but you go. There, it, you know, to make a better service, mm -hmm. it's going to take a time. Sure, and of course. Getting a lot of feedbacks from our clients or customers, it's really a key point. So doing that part, uh, we're expecting to launch our pre-service uh, next year. That's a great idea. Having pre-service, get customer feedback, making sure it's intuitive, easy to use. Maybe they have such, some suggestions for you as well that you can include in the final product. Vixen, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Jay. Absolutely. That's the innovation lead from Miroid with their main brand being Mirror Art. Check them out. They have new products on the way. They already have samples of bra as well, ready to go global, launch big here, big investments, working with big uh, beauty brands as well. Once again, check them out. I'm Jay at Pango Techno Valley.